Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be uh, kind of like a follow-up <laughs> to the, my last video that you guys saw for me. And these are the products that I wanna, the lip products specifically, that I wanna pan in 2023. I, every year, well no, I think it was last year, maybe the year before, did I do that? I think it was barely, it doesn't matter, whatever. I'm not gonna go into a tangent. <laughs> I picked some lip products that I wanna use up or focus uh, in 2023 if I finish them all great but I'm not expecting to I'm just hoping to really focus on some of these some of these have been in my collection for a long time some of these need a little bit more work and so uh, we're just gonna get started I'm kind of like um, rolling my sleeves up because you know swatches <laughs> um, if you guys saw my wrap up for 2022 you guys would have seen that I didn't finish four lip products and so I am rolling those over because those are still some of the oldest ones and those are going to take priority in 2023. So I'm going to start with the three lipsticks that I didn't get to in 2022 and they are from Urban Decay. They're the Revolution lipsticks in the colors um, Turn On, uh, Sheer Shame, and F-Bomb. So this one is the regular revolution lipstick excuse me and i'll give you guys a swatch it's a very pretty nude color oh that was a big swatch i like ran out of space already <laughs> so that's this one right here this is in the color turn on and then the other two are in the sheer formula which are like the name implies sheer uh swatch so this one is in the color sheer f bomb it's that one right there. It's not as opaque as the actual, as the other one was. Um, I finished the regular Revolution in F-Bomb. And the other one is uh, Sheer Shame, which is a more red, like vampy color. So you guys can see. I mean, you can build it up if you do multiple swatches like I just did. But for one and done, it's pretty sheer. So that's, that's that one. And the other one is um, a lip gloss from MAC that I do have. Uh, I, I did start using this one and I'm just gonna continue using it and hopefully I can get it finished. This is the last lip gloss that I have from MAC. I am not in, planning on buying any more. Um, but that's this color right here. It's very pink, very thick, very opaque, very goopy, very shiny, very sticky. It stays for a long time. Uh, and you don't necessarily need to build it up because then you'll get a build up in your lip. So that's this one. So those are the four that I'm rolling over from um, 2022 from this year. And then the rest of the items that I have here, um, I ha are, are what I'm planning for to pen in 2023. Now I'm going to let you guys know, I'm sorry that I'm like talking to you and doing this, but I do have a lot of minis. And the reason being is because I really want to focus on those three full-size lipsticks. So I didn't want to add a lot of lip, uh, full-size lip products, even if they're just lip glosses, because I really want to focus on the um, those three that I'm rolling over from, from last year. So I think I have separated my lip balms from my colored products. And so I'm going to start with the lip balms first. Um, I have four minis and then one full size. The full size that I have here is from um, the honey shop from that place that I went to when I was in um, Bratislava. You guys remember I saw I bought a bunch of like face creams and hand creams and stuff. This is the last product that I have from that store and this expires, it says 12, 10, 23. But I think in Europe, the, 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 Day goes first and then the month, right? So it should be October 12th when this expires. So I have the whole year to use it up, but it's a big jar like for just lip balm and it doesn't have a lot of packaging around. Like it's a pretty generous size. And so since this expires fairly easily, as soon as I'm finished with the current lip balm that I'm using, I'm gonna jump straight to this one. This one smells delicious. Kind of peppermintery. If you guys speak Czech, this is what it says in the packaging. I'm sorry, I know it's very um, blurry, but yeah, that's what it says. I don't know what it says. Oh, lip balm with propolis and tea tree oil. That's why it's peppermintry, because of the tea tree. Um, if you guys live in Bratislava or close to Bratislava, you know, make your way to there and find this little store. I wish I could tell you around where it was, but I have no idea. <laughs> We're just walking around and I happened to find the store. Anyway, 
that's the first lip balm that I have here. And that's the only full size lip balm that I have. The other three, the other four are very, very small. Starting with the first one, it's a potted lip balm, lip balm from um, Fresh. And it's the Sugar Caramel Hydrating Lip Balm. This uh, has two grams of products. I used up a little pot like this before and I went through it fairly quickly. So I'm not too worried about this one. And then the other one is also from Fresh and it's in the Rosé, the, the Sugar Rosé. And that these are the last two products that I have from Fresh. So as you guys can see, I can use this one up in a month, no problem. And I'm definitely either going to use it. Um, this has, also has an expiration date. May 2021. <laughs> so it's going on two years. Does the little pot have uh, an expiration date? Um, I have a little box here. Does it say in the box? This one doesn't say so, uh, but this one is newer than the that one. So maybe that one expired this year. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better. Anyway, so those are the two from Fresh. Then I have one from Elf. Now the Elf is technically a full size, but it's so skinny. This is the Elf Lip Balm SPF 15 sunscreen. And this guy is so skinny and so small that like that's all I have been here. <laughs> and this is full. It's I rolled it all the way up. I don't think, well, let me swatch it if it gives any, it kind of gives off like a little bit of a pinky hue right here next to the hot pink one, but yeah, not that much. When I wear on my lips, I'm sure it's not going to even show. I roll down all the way. It's right there. So I feel like I'm going to go through this one very, very fast. And the other one is, I'm going to go through this one even faster. It's from the brand Jane Iredell, the Just Kissed Lip and Cheek Stain and that's all it's in here <laughs> that's all in here i could probably use this as my lip product when i go to work uh since i still use a mask i don't want to have anything that's gonna like move around on my lips while i'm wearing a mask and if this is a stain it was probably a nice way to use it so so those are the five lip balms that i'll be you know concentrating on if i use them all up for the most part i'll use them when i'm here at home Definitely before I go to bed, I always apply lip balm and before I go on my runs, I apply lip balm. So I'm going to be very busy using these. So that's that. Then I have four lip pro four lip uh, liners. I bought so Why did I buy these? I think it, oh, it was during the Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty and I bought four um, lip liners and I want to use them all up next year. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give you guys swatches. They're all from Buxom. They are the Powerline Plumping, Plumping Lip Liner. And on one line you have the lip liner and on the other line you have like a little brush, I guess to blend out the product. So I'm gonna give you guys a swatch. Let me do that right now. So I do have four. The first one is this like really dark plummy color. It's called Powerful Plum. And it's this shade right here, right there. And then the next one is called Power Line. Oh no, <laughs> it's car called Recharged Ruby. And it's this hot pink right here. Very, very pretty. Then we go into more nudie territory. I have Dangerous Dolly, which is this one right here. And then last but not least, I have um, Smoothie Spice, which is the nudiest one. And it's this shade right here. So I would like to use all of them. Um, I don't think they have a lot of product to begin with. I mean, I can roll it all the way up and see how much product. That's all I have here. That's the nice thing about retractable lip liners is that it's a lot of packaging, not a lot of product. So those are the four lip liners. And then I have, uh, oh my gosh, I, I didn't even count them. No, I lied. I did count them, but then I started um sorting everything out and i don't know how much how many i have but i have two four six eight ten twelve i have 13 other lip colors that i have here that i want to focus on and i will give you guys swatches i think i'm going to use this hand right here <laughs> uh should i separate them in some sort of order hold on okay i have separated them in some sort of order and i will start with liquid lipsticks i do have four the first one is a mini, 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 mini from Sephora. This is the satin lip cream stain in the color uh, 38 
and shoot it doesn't have the name i wish it did but it's number 38 i'm sorry it doesn't have the name because the packaging is so small but i will give you guys a swatch these are some of my favorite lip products uh lip line lip liquid lipstick formula it's this color right here very very pretty it's gonna be very easy for me to wear because i naturally love it then I have one from Stila in the color Bocce. This is more of a nude color. I am not a fan of nude colors. And since I wear a mask at work, wearing these colors that I'm not a big fan of, it's kind of easy because I can just wear it and nobody sees it, but I still get use out of it. And it's this color right here. It makes me look like almost dead. That's why I'm not a big fan of it. But that's the color right there. Then I have one from Too Faced. This is the uh, Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Queen Bee. It's this one right here. And I think this is more pinky. I don't think it's going to be as gray as the other one. I'm sorry if you guys heard that car. <laughs> but it's this one right here. A little bit more pinky than the other one from um, Stila. But that's one right there. And I haven't used the Melted Lipstick from Too Faced, and I could have stick from Too Faced in a long time, so I can't remember if the formula is kind of drying. Uh, I'll report back on that <laughs> once I start using it. And the other one's from e.l.f. I don't think I've ever used a liquid lipstick from e.l.f., but this is the Modern Metals in the color, um, it doesn't say. <laughs> it's just a bunch of numbers. So it's kind of like a burnt orangey color. It's very pretty. I don't really have anything like this in my collection. So it's gonna be nice oh yeah definitely kind of a burnt orange kind of um, brown do I dare say it's very pretty um, so we'll see how how long it takes me to use this up this looks like it has a lot of product but once you remove the sticker I mean look at that look at how much packaging is around here compared to how much product you get. So don't be deceived by, oh my gosh, this is huge. I have a ton of product, but then you look on the bottom and there's hardly any product there. Then I have three lipsticks. Um, I know I have three for full size over there and then I have three more over here. One is the, is, I only have one full size in addition to the other three from Urban Decay. And this is from Maybelline. This is the, is it from Maybelline? I think it is. It's the, um matte lipstick in the color uh naked coral this had a huge following it was like a cult classic um it had a lot of hype surrounding it uh, maybe gosh i want to say like four three four years ago it's this shade right here it's a very pretty natural color i don't even know if they make these anymore do you guys know it's in the color 555 naked coral um let me know if these are still available. I haven't purchased a lipstick from the drugstore in years, so I don't even know if this is still available. I have another one in, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name. That was also very popular, um, but I mean, I gotta start getting used out of these guys. The other two are mini. One is from Bite Beauty. Last year, or this year in 2020, I was working on, I made my way through several Bite products uh, because, I was making a, since it's been discontinued, the brand, I was making a conscious effort to use up, up. And this year I only picked one because the other shades were very similar to the three lipsticks from Urban Decay that I want to focus on. So I didn't want to have like too many of the same colors uh, repeated on. And this one's definitely different. This is in the color Kimchi. And it's a fun, bright color. I haven't worn anything this bright in a long time. You guys know I like my bold colors. And so I'm excited to try this one again. Look at that hot pink shade. I absolutely love it. Love it. I'm so excited to use it up. It's a mini. It's not going to take me very long to use up. So that's that. And the other one is from Marc Jacobs in the color Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. This is also a mini. It's more of a neutral, easy to wear color. And it's this shade right here. So yeah. So it's I got quite of a quite the color spectrum there. I didn't give you guys swatches. Oh yeah, I have the other swatches over here. So that's it right there for now for lipsticks. I do have some lip glosses. I have six lip glosses. I have two from Buxom just because 
The Buxom lip, lip glosses that I have are some of the oldest one in my collection. And so I want to work on two. And I think I will only have two left. So the first one is in the color Dolly, which I panned one of these this year. So I know I can use it up. It won't be very hard for me to finish it. It's a very easy to wear color right here. Very see-through. I could even pair it with some of these liquid lipsticks if they're too drying uh, to hydrate my lips a little bit. And the other one is in the color um, White Russian. This is also another color that was very, very popular. Um, I don't know if it's because if, if it had anything to do with like Kim Kardashian making it popular back in the day, or was that NARS Turkish Delight? Maybe it was that one, I don't know. But White Russian is this one right here. You can also barely see it. Uh, so this, these are some of the colors that are very, very easy for me to wear. Then I have a um, lip gloss from Too Faced. It's the Pink Swan uh, collection. I guess this came in some sort of, I don't know, collection. But this looks like it's a very glittery, pinky lip gloss. We'll see what it looks like. This is the first time I'm swatching it. Oh yeah, and this is definitely on the glittery side. It's it's kind of nude, also very clear. It's right here. I thought it was gonna be like more shimmery. Kind of like what I'm wearing right now, but um, this is also one of those that has quite a bit of packaging. Not as bad as the one from e.l.f., but this also has quite a bit of packaging. So we'll see, we'll see about that. Then I have three minis, one from Patrick Ta. This is the uh, Major Glow Lip Shine. This is just a deluxe size sample. I'm sure this came in some sort of goodie box or favorites kit or something because I didn't buy it. You guys, I didn't mean for all my lip glosses to be like see-through, but that's the color right here. You can also barely see the swatch right there. It's a clear lip gloss with just a little bit of sparkle. I hope the sparkle is not too grimy on the lips. You know how sometimes when lip products are very glittery, you can feel it on your lips. I hope it's not the case with that one. Ooh. And then I have, ooh, <laughs> I have one from Too Faced. This is the Lip Injection Glossy Lip Gloss in the color Spice Girl. And it's this one right here. If I could open it, I'll give you guys a swatch. Maybe this will be more opaque. Uh, kind of, sort of. I'm swatching with my left hand and I'm not a lefty. So it's, <laughs> my swatches are looking kind of wonky, sorry but it's this shade right here. It has a little bit more color than the last three, but it's I'm sure on the lips, it's gonna look like there's nothing there. <laughs> so that's that one. And then last but not least, I have my Clinique um, Pink Honey Lip Balm or whatever. It's called lipstick here, but it is not a lipstick. Oh, it's called almost lipstick. I think it's a tinted lip balm, but Okay, I'm rubbing this back and forth several times. This, I don't know, maybe 10 swatches. <laughs> and that's the color that it paid off. So as you guys can see, my lip glosses are very, very, are gonna disappear on my lips, <laughs> basically. This product also doesn't have a lot of product. That's all that's in here. So I'm really gonna be focusing on my lip glosses, on my lipsticks in 2023. Let me give you guys a look at all the lip products I'm gonna be working on for 2023 I I like it I think I'm in good hands these are these got a little bit darker I don't know if you guys can tell uh, they're looking very similar now still I think this one um, is a little bit more pinky and this one's a little bit more like almost gray we'll see how it looks on my lips uh, but that's it guys these are the products I'm going to be panning for 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be doing updates. I'm going to be technically starting to work on these in December because right now it's November. Um, so maybe the first update will be some sort of maybe at the end of February, at the beginning of March, the latest. And I'll do it the same like with this product, uh, with this year in 2022, that I did it kind of quarterly. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.